I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write a pattern rule in words and as an algebraic expression. Question here is, represent the following pattern as an algebraic expression and then explain it in your own words. So that is the pattern given to us. Imagine that these are all square blocks. So what we have here is this is our pattern number one, this is pattern number two, this is pattern number three, right? So that is the value of, we can say n, right? Number of pattern. Or you can sometimes say figure number one, figure number two, figure number three, and uh, this could continue to any value n, right? As an example, you can continue it for two more figures. Now, what do we have here? We observe that one green is common in all, so we can say, well, one green is fixed here, right? So one green is fixed in each and every pattern. So when we start with, we start with one green, right? So we can straight write that one for it. So one green is there for each. Right? So that is one here and that is one here, right? Now how about the red ones? The red ones here are, we have in the very first one, uh, four reds, right? Then we have 3 and 3, 6, and then 4 and 4, uh, 8. So likewise, we have uh, increasing number of red, and it is increasing by 2 each time. So it is increasing by 2. We can also see this as we have two columns of reds, right, for 2 each. So we have two columns of red for 2 each, and then it increases uh, by two reds each time, right? So that is another way of looking at it, right? So, so likewise, you could say, uh, you could say that if you have to relate with one, which is the pattern number, in that case, you can say we have two columns of two. So, and we are increase, n is going to increase by one each time. So here, we have three columns of two each. Do you see that? So we have two columns, two columns of two red squares. Do you see that? Red squares. Here we have three columns, three columns. I mean, we have two columns of three red squares. And here again we have two columns. So two columns is fixed, right? Two columns of, but this time we have four red squares. So the number of red squares is one more than the number of figure. Do you see? Three is two, one more. But we have two columns. So what we can do here is we can write an algebraic expression as two columns means twice and this number two red squares could be written as n plus one. n is one, but we have two of them. Do you get the idea? n is two, but we have three of them and two columns. So in general, I could write a formula like this. Do you, do you see how we arrived at an expression, right? So let's go through it once again. What we are saying here is that we have one fixed green, right? So we have one fixed green plus we have two columns of uh, red squares which are n plus 1 which are one more than the figure number right so that becomes our pattern rule do you see that pattern rule and this is an expression so the first part here is represent the following pattern as an algebraic expression so that becomes the pattern rule an algebraic expression which represents the number of squares. How? Let us now look into number 2. So if I put n as 2, what do I get? I get 2 times 2 plus 1, plus 1, right? So that gives me 2 plus 1 is 3, and 2 columns. Do you get the idea? 6, and that gives me 6 plus 1, and that is true. So I have 2 columns of 3 red squares, and one green, right? And one green. Is that okay? In this case also one green, but I have two columns of two red squares and one green. Is that okay? Here also we have two columns of four red squares, but 
one green. Do you see that? Now the second part of the question is, how do we explain the situation in words? So for that, what we can write is, start with what? So always start with, let's say, start with one green and two columns of two, two columns of two red squares and let me push it and add how much add two red squares each time add two red squares each time do you see that so that is how you can describe it. So what we are doing each time is we started with one green and two columns of two red squares and then we added two and then again we added two more. So that is how we could describe the given pattern. So I hope with this you learn how can we write an algebraic expression for the given pattern and also how we can describe it in our own words. Now as part two of this video what I will do is I'll kind of modify and then you need to write an algebraic expression and then explain it in your own words. So how am I going to modify it? See what change I make. Instead of having one green we could have three greens. Do you see that? Fixed. Do you get the point? Right? So I'm just changing. Now if I change it like this the pattern rule can change. But the number of squares in each pattern remains same. Do you see the beauty of the question, right? So now what I have is three fixed green squares, two columns of one each red. And every time I am adding one red. Do you get the point? Now if I make this kind of a change, you should write down the algebraic expression and explain in words. So that is your test question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.